from Emmanuel and ransom captive Israel that mourns in lonely exile. Hey everybody, welcome to Advent Thoughts for day 20. Getting close to the end. We're back outside in front of my house here. Everybody's inside getting ready for dinner. It was a long day today. We got everything decorated at the church and we, uh, what else did we do? We got everything decorated at the church. We um, stayed, I stayed late and got all the AV tech side mostly sorted out and done. And then ran by uh, the uh, we had a birthday a drive through birthday to go to and so we went and drove by and did that and that was lovely and then we came home and got stuff ready for the pageant so I can start putting the pageant videos together and I realized I hadn't done today's advent thoughts and I was really upset because I, I really part of I think some of you know part of one of the things I really wanted to do with this and commit to is uh, just putting content out every day for these 25 days and making sure we got something not just junk um, but that we we're putting something really good out for people to mull over on this sort of journey through Advent and so it was that I had to get up and leave the football game and dinner and come out and record this video and that's not to get sympathy from me but I'm getting to the point hold on and I got out here and I started recording and I realized I'm tired <laughs> I'm tired. I said a lot of stuff all this 25 days and I said a lot of stuff this entire time and like preach this morning and I got to preach again on Thursday and I just don't have anything left right now. And yet here in this moment is where God has called me to be and I've committed to this work and this holy work to get it done. I think sometimes we all feel like that. Like we don't have anything else to give. Like we don't have any more oomph in our tank. It'd be easy for me to sort of just blow off tonight and say, well, I just didn't do to it. And none of you would be upset. You would all be very lovely about it. But the reality is I prayed about it. I came out here and I opened up my mouth and started talking. See, one of the things I've had to learn, <clears throat> and it is a learning, is that if I measure myself all the time and what I do and what I put out and who I am against the very best of me and the very best that I could do at any given moment, it's really not fair. Lord knows I'm thankful for the days that I can give you my very, very best. Those are pretty good days. But sometimes, that's not a fixed position. Actually, never is it a fixed position. See, my very best is the total amount of everything that's going on in that moment. See, the very best I can give you tonight is all that I have to give you. It's the total of the preparation. It's the total of the work that had to be done today. It's the total of all the things that had to you know, get decorated and done and found in this moment. It's the total of the kids and all those things. So, in a way, this is the very best that I had in this moment, in this time. Are there ones of the 20 that we've done at this point and five more to, let's say, five more to go? Are there ones that are better or worse? Yeah, there are, I'm sure. But in each one of those days, and including this day, those were the best that I can do in that moment and in that place. And in the end of the day, that's all God really asks of any of us. Not that we are perfect. Not that every moment, every second, everything is the, part, the best that we can possibly be the best that we can possibly be in that moment. It's an amazingly freeing thing when you give up the need to be perfect. 
for the openness of just saying yes and just giving the possible. In this final four days, five days of Advent, look for where God is calling you to give the best that you can possibly give. Measure it against that. The best that you can possibly give. That's not a stuck position. But that's a position that understands that at moments and all in our times in our lives, we are changing. And there are variables far and wide. The little drummer boy didn't bring gold and frankincense and myrrh. But what I have, I give him. I give him my heart. Because in that moment, that was the best that he had to give. Not a true story, but you get the point. So give the best that you can give in that moment to God. And in all the moments that you can give to God. Till tomorrow, this is the best I have to give. Y'all have a blessed day and a great Monday. And I'll see you tomorrow. Here until the Son of God appears.